Hey everybody, <laughs> you know what? Here we go. Um, welcome to the to Charmaine and Arthur show. Let's put it like that, okay? <laughs> Come on over, treachers, and say hi to everybody since you stepped up, son. Come on over. I love this boy so much. Uh, Y'all, happy Easter evening. I am doing well. I just left the gym. I'm a little bit sweaty. Otherwise, I would come on Vitaro. I'd be tearing that gym up. I, them people be in amazement. Don't play with me. I'm getting this weight off of me, and I feel so great about it. But I hope everybody had a great day. Uh, happy Resurrection Day. This is a uh, actually a message I was going to give tomorrow morning, but... I'm going to leave out a little early tomorrow, so I may not have time to do this. So um, I'm picking up new energy. April is here. April is going to bring a lot of uh, people meeting up, reconciliations, and new love coming in, okay? And y'all embrace whichever it is and, and just embrace it because life is short. I just keep referring back to those people on the bridge who didn't get a second chance to make a phone call, go to the store go home and feed their dog, eat dinner, nothing. It was over, over. So embrace life, embrace change, live, love, laugh, be happy. Like I'm not mad at treachers walking across my table because guess what? I can get some Lysol and Clorox and wipe it down. I'm not going to freak out. That's my baby. This is his house. It's just him and I. That's my boo. Um, <clears throat> again, I hope everybody had a great resurrection day. Um, Hope you enjoyed your ham and potato salad and, and all that good stuff. And there's nothing wrong with having a good meal. That goes for me also. But I was so heavy until I'm very extremely careful about what I eat. Y'all saw my pictures. I was the, 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 the talk of the town, y'all. I was the joke of the town. You hear me? You know what it's like to be outside and somebody ride by in a car and blow the horn for four men and they call you a fat bat and ride off or shamu the whale. That's what I had to go through. So, yeah, I'm hell-bent on wrapping this weight loss journey up. Even if I stop right now, if I could get my bat wings done, the loose skin from my arms, I would be happy. But I'm going to go down as far as I can go, as far as my body will let me go, because I'm never going to be bony, and I don't want to be bony. That's not in my genetic makeup and I'm tall and I got big feet and big hands. I would look like a skeleton. Don't know. I'm going to tell you something. I work with all men, men like Volu <laughs> go ahead. Treat just co-sign on that. Say men like a little voluptuous women. They, they, if you thick, you ain't nothing wrong with that. I work with men. They like thick. They like natural. They like cellulite. Don't bother them. Droopy boobs. Don't bother them. It's the woman. I am with men all day for 30 years. They like natural. They say, I don't care about that. I like natural. So all the women going out getting them uh, tummy tucks and BBLs, that's great if, if, that's, if that's what you think. But it's not going to get a man. They like it for a minute. But men like a little meat, you know, something to keep them warm. And don't no woman want no damn JJ from Good Times coming in the door. I know I don't. My, my, my love is slender, but he's muscular. Child, please, no. So go ahead, eat your ham and your potato salad and don't worry about it. Start with your salad and your Rice Krispies and skim milk tomorrow and keep it moving. Don't beat up on yourself. I've done it my whole life. I was in a hospital when I was 16 for a week because I had chewed my food up for three months, but I wouldn't swallow. That's how bad my eating disorder was, y'all. Okay. On to these. I brought some index cards from Dollar, whatever tree today. It might be 150. It doesn't matter to me. I love that store. Um, and I wrote up just a few, just a few. Um, RC, you sent me an email. I will definitely do your reading tomorrow, darling. I'm not going to do anything tonight. I wasn't supposed to come on here, but I'm going to be leaving out early tomorrow, so I don't have time to do it tomorrow. Uh, morning. So I'm going to give y'all a little sneak peek. Just a few messages tonight. I'm still picking up past energy and I'm picking up a little bit of new energy. I'm hearing the name Eddie and the last name Fleming. His name could be Eddie Fleming. Heavy military. Somebody's going to meet a Marines and it's going to be a, a either April or August. But I see a lot of flirtation, pretty dresses, lilac shirts for male and female. Uh, t-shirts tops down april gonna be the month of love and i want you to embrace it if your past person is just not reaching out to you go ahead on and let that chapter of your life go 
You're never going to open up a new book if you got the old book still open. Close the book and move on. It's easier said than done, but I'll be darned if it's not doable, especially if they're not responding to you. If you don't feel any connection, if you don't feel anything, it's, it's most likely over with. And you got to swallow that pill like an adult and keep it moving. Okay, I keep referring back to those people on the bridge. They will never get another chance to do anything. In one instant, their life was gone. They won't go home to walk the dog, to see that if they had a little Arthur, cook the chicken, take the kids to school, nothing. It's over. So you better appreciate your life and stop whining and pining over one person who ain't paying you. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah for a confirmation. Who ain't paying you no attention? Let them go. If they want to be up that karmics, but let them go. Let them go, okay? But either or, either a new person or your past person, this is what I picked up when I was sitting on the sofa earlier, and you want to know, what are your intentions for me? Don't let them yoke you around, y'all. Do not let them yoke you around. Time flies by. I can't believe I'm 58. I feel like I'm 23. Besides my back, I feel like I'm 22 years old. Where, where did 58 come from? What you talking about retirement? Retirement? Well, who? You want to know what their intentions are for you. If you want to kick it off with the new person, if you want to ask them what are you looking for, a good time, a booty call, or you looking for something lasting, feel free to ask them. Don't waste your time. If it's somebody from the past, you darn sure got the right to ask them, what are your intentions for me this time? Are you going to have me a love triangle, a love Quad, quad, a love hexagon, or you're going to do right by me. If not, baby, I've been living without you. I wish you well. I will always remember you, and goodbye. Okay? <clears throat> I wrote a few of these cards up, just a few, and they're all relating to this. What are your intentions? If any of these cards resonate with you, you have the right to ask this person, newer or past, what are your intentions for me? Hey, Arthur. Hi, honey. All right, the name Archie, Carol, and somebody loves to treat you. Leave the card alone, son. <laughs> he pushed his card to the side, like to get his point across. That's right, treat you. Co sign on that. That's right, baby. That's right. All right, Archie, Carol, and somebody loves tuna. You can eat tuna on wheat every day. Archie, Carol, Carol could be male or female, but if it's a male, it's spelled C-A-R-R-O-L-L, -L, and you love tuna. I love tuna. I do. Okay? You could be in physical therapy right now. Could be for a car accident. You could be going through uh, physical therapy after an injury from a car accident, and if you're going to get a settlement, I see $300,000. Spend it wisely, please. Please spend it wisely. This is your blessing from God. It turned. It looked like it was a tragedy, but you're going to heal perfectly in the name of Jesus, and you'll have a nice nest egg. Invest the money. Don't don't go out blowing it on stupid pink Cadillacs, and 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 that's a hundred thousand. And then uh, dig it up people who mean you no good, giving them ten grand each, then all your money gone. Okay, spend it wisely. Keep it hush, because people come out the woodwork when you got money. Let me let me tell you. I can tell you from personal experience, people come out the woodwork you ain't seen since the fifth grade if they think you got a couple of dollars. Be hush. Creatures, leave the cabinets alone. Go ahead, son. This is your usual MO. There, there you go. There go the one with the light saw. Go ahead, baby. Go on in there. Go on. There you go. Okay? <clears throat> Either you or your person rocks one mean afro. No afro wig. That's your beautiful, natural, big afro. Okay? Some of uh, some of us ladies have a natural big booty. Uh, I've had a couple of people ask me where I got mine done at, and I was highly insulted. What you mean? I'm not paying for no. Hi, baby. I'm not paying for no butt job. If if I have any money for for any physical work, it's gonna be to get this daggone bat wing skin off my arms. I appreciate the compliment. I know it looked like I, somebody cut a basketball in half and stuck it down my pants, but I'm natural. And there are other ladies on here who have a nice, natural, grabbable, squeezable, yeah, boom, that's us. I ain't got no shame. That's my free bus ride. 
Treat you. Go ahead on, son. I don't know why you, you don't do this until mommy go on pit row. Go ahead. Get on in there with the trash bag, son. <laughs> uh, somebody's really good at math. Really good at math. Uh, also the name Richard and Miller. I'm so glad to have my index cards back. I feel like I, I don't feel naked anymore. And I got my replacement debit card in the mail yesterday. Y'all, I'm going to tell you something. You can't do nothing without a bank card. Cash is like a dirty word. What you mean cash? No, we don't. No. You can't do nothing. I mean, you can buy stuff from the store, like, you know, but like anything online, you, you, you butt out. I was I almost kissed that envelope yesterday. Okay. But back to the reading. Um, you're good in math. I also heard the name Richard and Miller. All right. How about Cynthia? I heard Calvin. Cynthia, I just heard Calvin. Steven, and you could be an identical twin. Calvin, Cynthia, Steven, or you could be an identical twin. I just heard the last name, Pomroy. Pomroy. Okay, somebody's a great baker. You can bake your butt off natural. You don't do cake mix. You do your own flour, baking soda, baking powder. You may sell baked items, baked goods. Somebody has lived in or been to France. And somebody was a gymnast in high school. Or your daughter is a gymnast right now. She takes gymnastics. I always want to be a ballet dancer. Those girls are so graceful. If I try to get up on my toes now, they have to call 911. <laughs> It ain't gonna happen, child. Mm-mm. Call the ambulance. <laughs> I heard the name Ringo. That could be a pet's name, Ringo. Ringo, and somebody loves elephants. You may have an elephant uh, collection of, um, what they call them? Like little elephant statues around your house and a name Ringo. I hear a dog, Ringo, for some reason, okay? And like I said, the beginning of the reading, these are all for somebody who wants to know what are your intentions for me. I just heard the name Will. Will. Okay. Uh, last name. Well, it really could be first, middle, or last name. Parker. Latricia. Parker. Latricia. And a Honda Pilot. Parker. Latricia. And you or somebody related to you or in this energy could have a Honda Pilot. That's like a kind of like a SUV in a way for a Honda. Ian, Christopher, and last name Bradley. Ian, Christopher, and Bradley. My God, I feel back to normal with my cards. Thank you, Jesus. Brazilian and Everett. Somebody is from Brazil and the name Everett. Everett could be tall. Okay. I heard Petersburg. I know there's a Petersburg in Virginia. I'm not sure if there's a Petersburg in another state, but I also heard the state of Ohio. Petersburg and Ohio. And there's no shame in this. Somebody was a topless dancer, maybe in the 70s or 80s. You were a topless dancer. And you know what? If you had kids to feed and it was safe back in those days, to shake your tatas and make your three, four, five hundred dollars a night and pay your rent and take care of your kids, so be it. Like I said, I used to eat six Krispy Kreme donuts at one time. Who and who am I to judge anybody? <laughs> who I'm the last person to judge anybody. Now, if you don't wash your hands and if you're a child molester, I can't get down with you. That just don't stay away from me. People don't realize what happens when you touch a child in a, inappropriately. It messes up their whole life. Trust me when I tell you. Okay? If you was a topless dancer and you shook your tatas and you shook them. Okay? Uh, your person is your... <clears throat> your person is your... Hold on. <coughs> Hold on, y'all. Get some water. Hold on. Who didn't want me to say this card? Your person is your screen. <clears throat> I'm sorry, y'all. Your person is your screensaver. They could be uh, your wallpaper or your phone or your laptop. <clears throat> Somebody did not want me to say that. Hold on. <clears throat> sorry, y'all. Ha ha. I got it out, devil. 
And last but not least, somebody's going to get married in 2027. Maybe to a new person or your past person. Okay, y'all, that's all I have for tonight. Uh, my readings are still $25 for three questions. Uh, RC, beautiful sister of mine in your 30s. Um, you sent me an email today. I will do your reading tomorrow after work for sure, Lord willing. Uh, I'm doing well. Otherwise, hi to everybody. Thank you all for your love and your support. I can't say it enough how much I appreciate you all. Um... Okay, Milford, Milford, M-I-L-F-O-R-D. I heard Carmen, last name Johnson, last name White. Okay, somebody has a security security guard at work that really likes you. You're not just somebody they speak to. They really like you. They may step to you. Okay, uh somebody's person, or you could be, I hear a uh, whistleblowing. You could be a crossing guard, something to do with traffic, because I heard a whistleblowing. I'm thinking crossing guard. There could be a crossing guard that likes you as you take your kids to school in the morning. If there's a male or maybe a female crossing guard, one of them got their eye on you. <clears throat> Last name Crocker. Crocker. C-R-O-C-K-E-R. Okay. Stop it, treachers. Um, hold on, y'all. Some more stuff is coming in. I keep hearing this Tiffany. That's a rather popular name, but another Tiffany is here. Earl. Earl. E-A-R-L. Carlton. Mark. Okay. Benning, B-E-N-N-I-N-G. Last name Tatum, T-A-T-U-M. Oh, who else? Anybody else? Last call before I log off. Anybody else's energy? Come on, come on through. I'm about to log off. Timothy. Timothy. Luke. That sounds like the books in the Bible. Lord have mercy. Somebody could be... In the clergy, you could be, I mean, hey, people in the clergy have relationships too, um, like ministers and deacons. So you could be involved with somebody in the church or somebody in the church got their eye on you. Okay. Um, okay. Everybody keep your head up. Uh, get out. Get out the house. Don't stay stuck on one person. Get out and mingle. You're not going to meet anybody if you're sitting in the house online all day. The internet ain't going to do nothing for you. I'm not a huge fan of online dating, but it works for some people. I like to see my person in person, but I'm good with my own person. I, I just i am so glad we things worked out. I'm so glad things work out. And the reassurance from 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 my, my soul twin is what <sighs> I treat you. I'm about to log off, son. You want to say goodnight to everybody? <clears throat> the constant reassurance that we ain't going nowhere. We, we're going to be together. It's what I love. Um, if it's meant to be, it's going to happen. You see what I mean? When you about ready to give up, God said, no. I mean, for you two to do this together, be on a mission, be, be together. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. I had given up. Like done, done, done. And bam, here it comes. So. But that's, hey, let me say something else. That was me. Don't compare yourself to anybody, y'all, please, because you'll get disappointed and depressed. It can be a, a circle of 30 women. Let's just say y'all got a breakup woman's club. And 29 women get back together with their past person and you don't. You won't feel like, what am I doing wrong? You ain't doing nothing wrong. That's not your purpose to go back with your person. Everybody's different. Do not compare. How you think I feel when them guys at work heat up steak and cheese and pizza and french fries every day and here I am over there with my Greek yogurt, 80 calorie yogurt and my turkey breast burgers and my salad. I better not eat no daggone french fries and steak and cheese and all that. I'll blow back up again. So it's every, everything ain't fair. Okay? I love you all so much. Good night for me and my darling son. Say bye everybody. Say good night. Say good night. <laughs> I love y'all. Talk to you tomorrow, Lord willing.